Today we gather to celebrate the love of Stephanie and Austin in the presence of their most beloved family and friends. Stephanie and Austin will pronounce their love throughout the ceremony and begin a lifelong journey together. Okay. <laughs> I think we can. Sorry. This, this is our first time. <laughs> we don't do this. We were that way too, but now folks. No, no, I know, sorry. In this fast paced, always changing world, our couple has found peace and comfort in each other. Their love is a testament to their faith. Both Stephanie and Austin maintained faith that they would find their other half. This ceremony is a tribute to their most unique love story and a promise of a beautiful future ahead. Before we begin, the couple would like to call up Aunt Joni to share a special wedding poem. A marriage blessing. May your marriage always bring glory to God, joy to one another, and blessings to your family for many generations to come. May love and laughter fill your hearts and your home for all the days of your lives. May you face every challenge hand in hand, side by side, knowing that with God's grace, you'll conquer all obstacles together. May the world be forever a better place because the two of you fell in love. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt Joni. <laughs> As we begin, we ask that every witness here today close their eyes for just a moment. Imagine your best memory of Stephanie and Austin. To the surround this couple with love and support, we ask that you offer that memory to the heavens with a sediment for the most beautiful beginning to this special chapter of their lives. Please now take a moment. Thank you, everyone. Do these two have all your blessings? Yes. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie and Austin have prepared their own vows to profess their love to, uh, here today. Stephanie and Austin, are you guys ready to share your vows? Yeah. Yep. Yes. I think so. <laughs> Hey, Bestie. Over the past eight and a half years of being together, people ask me why I love you or how I knew it was you. I tell them that I love that you are deeply kind and thoughtful. You are patient, generous, and care so deeply for others. You always do the right thing, even when it's hard. You're a great friend and an incredible teammate. You work hard and literally never complain or speak poorly of anyone, even when I want you to gossip with me. <laughs> you are understanding, compassionate, and intentional in everything that you do. When I feel things really deeply and don't always know how to express them, you never make me feel like I need to be or should be different than someone who I already am. To be loved and treasured for being exactly who you are is such a beautiful thing, and it is never lost on me the immense gift it is. I love you more every single day, and I am in all of your strength every single day. I'm so lucky that God picked me for you to love. It is a blessing to live life with you. And while I can't believe that I'm someone's wife, or exactly totally sure how to be one, <laughs> I'm excited that I get to be yours. <laughs> I wrote all of this and realized that I'm not exactly sure if they're even vows, because I feel like vows are supposed to be promises that we make to one another. I am sure that I could think of a long list of cute things that I could promise you. I just know that I'm not a perfect person and that I can't possibly promise to do all of those things all of the time. But what I can promise is that I will love you every single day in all the ways that I know how. Sometimes I'll be scared and sometimes I'll be brave, but I'll always be there for you in every way that I know how. Like when you miss a buck during deer season. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Austin, I know what a gift it is to have your love. I love you tons and tons. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> well, am I holding this? 
<laughs> yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> Did you add to yours? What? Did you add to yours? No, that's it. You said it was like five pages. It was five pages. That was like 15. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, babe. Function. Do you need help? Just Tanner has a bobby pin. Safety pin. Okay. <clears throat> Stephanie Marie, you look so beautiful. Your hair looks amazing. A lot better than the first time we met. <laughs> Honestly though, that was one of the many reasons I fell in love with you. I, was, I think that was the day I actually knew this is the one. I love your natural personality and how you can be yourself around me and anyone else at all times, even if I have to clean up after you. <laughs> I also love how much you support me in any of life's adventures. Most importantly, I love how you've loved me unconditionally through all of our ups and downs in life. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I can finally call you my wife and, not, and you not make a comment about it. <laughs> And I promise to love you to none till the end and beyond. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I'd say I love you to the moon and back, but the moon is too close. That's a lot shorter. Sorry. Thanks. <laughs> Stephanie and Austin, as you exchange your rings today, you are also reinforcing your commitment to trust, love, and commitment. Each ring serves as a constant reminder that you are loved. Oscar, rings. Oh, wait, here. This ring symbolizes. Oh, I'm sorry. Stephanie, <laughs> place the ring on Austin's hand and repeat after me. This ring symbolizes my love. This ring symbolizes my love. For you and the commitments. For you and the commitments. We have made here today. We have made here today. I did it, I did it. <laughs> Austin, place the ring on Stephanie's hand and repeat after me. This ring symbolizes my love. This ring symbolizes my love. For you and the commitments. For you and the commitments we have made here today. We have made here today. Oh, cool, my favorite part. By the power invested in me, by the Universal Life Church of uh, Missionaries, Ministries, before, <laughs> before your family and friends, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Austin, you may kiss your bride.